All right, so let's create those numbers here um, and to, to model those out. Um, that's um, easy to use the tool that's called uh, the text tool. So go to create and here is uh, the text tool. So go to the options and um, yeah, in here, um, the text that we want to create is 60. Yeah, so type that in. And the font we are using, that's the font that I mentioned in the first video. Uh, that's the Microgramma Medium Extended. So if you have that installed and um, you have Maya restarted, you should find that uh, under the fonts tab here. Um, so click on that and then we want to create a bevel. So select that. And uh, with that selected, you have some options here. So try something like uh, the bevel width here, um, like 0 0.04, the bevel depth um, 0 0.05, and the extrude distance to 0.1. And the rest, uh, you can leave the rest um, on the default settings. So apply. OK, so there you have. Uh, the 60 so this is uh, way too uh, large but um, yeah first of all um, let's um, fix a little problem problem with, the, with that font here so you see this thing coming out here I don't want that I want this going down here straight so let's fix that let's go to the uh, front view um, zoom in on that 60 here or especially on that 6 um, hit 5 to go to shaded mode. Uh, let me turn on wireframe with shaded. And with that, um, let me first uh, select uh, some vertices here. Um, let's select those. And let's move those in here. And then we take this edge loop here. Shift select take this one here, shift select this one, shift select this one, and then say delete edge. So don't hit delete on your keyboard. Um, use the delete edge or vertex tool. You can find that under edit mesh. Uh, let me have a look. Where is that? Down here. Delete uh, edge vertex. So uh, hit again, hit control shift and click on that and you put that icon uh, to your shelf like I did. So delete that. So now you have this kind of like a straight line. Um, yeah, let's come in and select those vertex here, vertices here and let's move that those in just a little bit. Okay. And then what we can do is we can we can also delete this edge loop here. So delete that. There you go. So this looks a little bit better to me. Um, I mean, this is not the perfect font uh, for that watch, but um, this is the font that I found um, that is coming close to what you see on that watch here. Okay, so if you have a font that uh, fits uh, better to to what you see on on the watch, um, you can take that. Feel free to use your own fonts. Okay, so um, with that piece of geometry, the sixty selected, um, I'm gonna center the pivot. And then I'm going to hit uh, X to snap to the grid and move that to the center of the grid. Let's go to the top view. And let's rotate that guy negative 90 degrees in X. And then let's bring it into its position. And you will see that uh, this font is not perfect, but yeah, it works. Okay, so let's scale that guy down. So now, um, with that number scaled, um, we have to remember um, the scale here. Because when we are creating new f um, the other numbers, we have to scale them down. And if we scale those down um, with the same dimensions here, so that's 0.174, um, if we do that, we have the same size for all the the rest of the numbers. And like I said before, this is not perfect, but yeah, it works. So I'm going with this one here. Okay, so now, um, yeah, let's leave it up here. So let's go in and say we want to create um, the next uh, number here, which was uh, 
Uh, let's start with the 40 and then the 20. Okay, let's go in and uh, create the 40. Create, go to the text tool, go to the options and type in 40, hit apply. And yeah, the 40 looks good. So we don't have to um, tweak anything on that number. Um, so now again, hit a center pivot. And, and again, I want to bring this in the center by holding down X and move it to the center of the grid. And then again, rotate that guy, uh, negative 90 and X. And then, yeah, let's scale that guy down to the value that we just had, 0.174. So this should automatically have the same size as the 60. So we move it uh, somewhere about here so that it's um, almost on the same spot as the 60. And then we go in here and say we want to have the pivot of that 40 um, in the center of that piece here. And again, um, hit D and then V and middle mouse over that vertex here in the center. So now we have that pivot uh, should be on in the center of that piece. Let me check that out and from the top view. And there you go, I mean, it's exactly on the center and that's important. So now let's rotate that guy. And this should be exactly uh, rotated in Y 60 degrees. So take a look from that perspective view. And there you go. And yeah, finally we do this um, with uh, the last number on this part, the 20. So go in, create text, go to the options, type in 20, uh, say apply. Okay, so with that object selected, center the pivot, rotate that guy negative 90 degrees in X, and scale that to the same amount like 0.174. And then let's move this guy to the center of the grid. So we can go to the top view again, hold down X and move it here. And then again, try to move it almost on the same position as our first number, the 60, somewhere about here. And then we do the same uh, process again. So we change the pivot, um, we move it to the center of this piece here, hit D and V, middle mouse, over that vertex. And this one has got to be rotated um, also in Y. Let's take a look from the top view. This should be something like this here. And this is exactly negative 60 degrees. Okay, so now we have um, the numbers for uh, this part here. So let's go in and select all of those objects and let's uh, group those. Uh, hit control G to group those. And let's um, bring the pivot of that group again to the center here. Um, hit D and V and middle mouse over that, oh, exactly over that vertex, D, V, middle mouse, and there you go. And now let's um, move the pivot also to the level of um, the middle of uh, those numbers. So hit uh, the D key, uh, move it up a tiny bit in Y, and then V and middle mouse over one of those vertices in this on this line here. So now we can move those down. Let's go to the side view and bring those into the position where we put those little boxes here that we created earlier. Okay. So this is it for this video. So let me pause the video and I'll be back in the next one to finish this up.